Okay, so in this class, we'll discuss this test 6.3a portion, okay? This question is page 144, class 10 maths. Page 144, let me read the question. <clears throat> if triangle ABC, similar to PQR, X is how much? So let us draw the figure first. A1, okay? Uh, so we have given here two figures. One of them look like this, you draw it. With your free hand also it's okay, representative only this one, A, B, C. And the next one is P, Q, R, okay. So here we're given the values as 12 units, 8 and 10 units. And on the other triangle we're given as 9 units, X, that we have to find. And this one is 7.5 units, right? So here let us write here, <coughs> given to us. From the question clearly mentioned that these two triangles are similar okay triangle ABC is similar to PQR and then we have to find X so let us try start here since triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR because we know this from as given in the question right here you see now if two triangles are already established to be similar the two things always follow that is corresponding angles are equal and corresponding sides are proportional so we need the side so let us just do that first because x is a side right so corresponding sides are proportional means both this triangle has three sides so we'll get three ratio proportional means ratios are equal so first two letters Yes, that's right. So that is the first side of the first triangle. Then first two letters. Good, right? That is PQ. So first two letter AB, first two letter position, they are called corresponding sides. If you take first two letters AB and first and third letter, that is wrong. That is not corresponding. Then the next second and third letter, correct? BC by and second and third here, QR. And one more ratio is possible, right? Because triangle has three sides, so three ratios will come out. First and third letter, and then first and third letter. So these are the three ratios of the sides of the two triangles. So proportional means these ratios will be equal. So we write your since corresponding sides of similar triangles are always proportional equal signs between these three ratio means this meaning of proportional proportional means ratios are equal okay now let us just write down here that means a b is 12 by p q here 9 units b c is 8 by q r here is x and then s c here is 10 by p r there is 7.5 10 by 7.5 like that we get the question is asking us x only so you can either take the first and the second ratio only in the next step or the second and the third the one containing x the ratio containing x you take and any one of these two you choose so we can do that maybe we can take this one here 12 by 9 equal to 8 by x Suppose you took 8 by x and this 10 by 7.5, same answer you will get. Okay, so only take two ratio because this all you need 3, 3, 3, 4s are 12. So cross multiply 4 into x, 4x. After that equal, then down and up 3 and the 24. So we have here x will be equal to 24. Then this 4 shifted to the right side means it will go to the denominator and 4 ones are 4, 6. So x equal to 6. For the answer choice that match, there is the number 3, which has the answer as 6 units. A1 done, let us go to 2. So here, when two triangles are similar, corresponding angles are equal, I repeat, corresponding angles are equal. Number 2, corresponding sides are proportional. I repeat, corresponding sides are proportional, okay? I'll go A2. So go to A2, okay? So in 
if in this two triangle ABC and DEF, slight correction will be needed, okay, in this triangle, in this question, so listen. So there is two triangles here. Though they didn't draw, let us just draw for ourselves, because they, as we draw, we'll really understand it. A, B, C, D, E, F, that's what they say. So let us write down given, what is clearly given in question, let us write down given <coughs> in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, we have been given AB by DE is equal to BC by FD. Okay, then that part here, triangle ABC similar to DEF, that one I want, we want to explain. That's important. A slight mistake is there in that textbook, so I'll show you here. So let's write down here. <clears throat> These two triangles are similar when which angles are equal? The choice there, as you can see on textbook page 145. Let's just take here, and for this one though, it's okay. Triangles ABC and the next one DEF. This is given AB in this triangle by DE in this triangle side equal to BC side of the first triangle by FD of the second. This is given. We write because it is given to us as in the question. Now, if two sides are proportional and find out the angles between them. So what are the sides of the first triangle AB and BC? AB and BC. So this is the angle. Mark there, one dash. So angle A is between, sorry, angle B. Angle B is between AB and BC in this triangle. For this triangle, DE and FD are the sides. So DE, DE and FD, this is the one. These two should be equal. Right? So if we write like that, these two are true, then then only this triangle. Now this is where the textbook make mistakes, so listen here. While writing similar triangles, as I have told in the previous class, the order should be correct. Now you see AB, so this tick this one, AB. And then DE is the corresponding in the other triangle. So DE you tick one single tick. Then BC, double tick it. And FD, this is the one. So these are the corresponding. Suppose so you write here, textbook is written, uh, so I'll write here, then triangle ABC. If you write like that, then you have to write similar to, you went like this, see, single tick, double tick, and see, ABC means you went from single tick to double tick. So say also, single tick to double tick. So EDF. So this should be triangle EDF. If you get this position of letters wrong, everything will go wrong after that, okay? So here, since you went like this single tick to double tick by writing ABC, ABC, the next triangle should follow the same under, single tick to double tick, not DEF, EDF, okay? So go and correct that one. Textbook is given triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF. Cut that triangle DEF and above DEF you write EDF, the correct way. So when you write finally they are similar, you must make sure that the order of the letters A corresponds to E, B is the correspond to D, C correctly. When you use this symbol, here it's okay, you're starting. But once you're sure they are similar, the three letters in the triangle should be in the corresponding order. Okay. And you write here, we know this is using, they will be similar by using SAS. Similarity, two sides proportional, like these two ratios proportional, and the angles between those two sides should be between A, B, B, C. Between A, B, and B, C is not angle A and C, it is B. Between E, D, and D, F is this. So it should be between them, A come in between two sides, similarity. So this is possible only when B equal to D. So your answer, go and see this choice. Which is the one have B equal to D? Number two, yes. So this will happen only when B equal to angle D. Okay, so I hope you got it. Now let us go to three. So 
three, A three. In triangle ABC PQR, we have those ratios given. So we'll just write down the triangle. A, B, C, randomly again, right? It's okay. It's not given, but we are drawing for our own sake, okay? So let's write what is given. Given to us is in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. This is given to us AB by QR is equal to BC by PR is equal to CA by PQ. Then, which of them is correct? Which order is correct in the choices there? So let us start. Since in this one, we can just start randomly in the beginning. That's fine. What I mean is triangles ABC and PQR. You don't need to be so bothered about whether the orders are correct when you start. But when you finally write they are similar, that's where the order should be corresponding. The letter orders, first, second, third, should be corresponding to the second triangle. Okay. So in these two triangles, we are clearly given AB by QR equal to BC by PR equal to CA by PQ because this is given in the question itself. So we clearly see that AB corresponds to QR. So let us take that single. QR is this one. So that is so AB corresponds to QR, not to PQ. BC PR corresponding. So BC double tick and PR. So be very careful. Double tick. Then CA PQ. So this antique one is the corresponding. Let us say. So the choice they're given is all given in form of PQR, PQR, PQR. So let us just write here. So this all the three sides are proportional means surely the two triangles are similar. We know that from the SSS similarity when we did last class. So we can write here since using SSS similarity. The three sides are proportional means surely they are similar by side, side, side similarity. But what we are concerned is we must get it correct. All of them are PQRs each. Number one, triangle PQR. Second one, triangle PQR. Third choice also second place, PQR. PQR. So we can settle that. So PQR. Now if PQR similar to now, ABC should follow. So PQR means it is going PQ to single tick. So here also PQ unticked. So here also SC to single tick. So C, A, B. It's going PQR means no tick to single tick. So this also should go from no tick to single tick, not this side. So it should be C, A, B. So you write here triangle C, A, B. This is the cor correct order. C corresponds to P, second letter, second letter, third B, third letter corresponding is R. This is the correct. So let us search which is matching this one. Choice number one is matching this. So here you write the answer. Number one, triangle in the textbook PQR, similar to triangle CAB. So that's your answer. See here, PQR, similar to CAB. We got it and we found out that is the choice and the answer choice that is matching this. So that is, we are learning to how to write the corresponding letters in the correct order, which is very important in similar triangles. Let's go to A4. So here, A4. Let me read the question. Triangle PQR similar to XYZ. So PQR similar to XYZ. Z already given. So let us write down given PQR similar to XYZ. Clearly given. Then some more things are given. Angle Q equal to 50 degree. So this is 50 degree. 
r 70 degree angle r equal to 70 degree so this is 70 degree with that we have to find out um, x plus y angle x plus angle y equal to what we have to find so let us do like this since triangle pqr is similar to triangle or we can start like this since two angles are there so we can write angle p plus angle q plus angle r equal to 180 degree because we know that sum of angles in any triangle equal to 180 degree so that gives you uh, p where you have to find but q is there 50 degree r is there 70 degree 180 degree so angle p plus 120 degree 50 plus 70 equal to 180 degree so angle p will be equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree which is 60 degree we may put this one as one if you want okay so just leave it there like that also it's okay now next step let us do like this since we are given already triangle a sorry pqr pqr is similar to triangle xyz as it is given in the question to us let's do that now so the corresponding if two triangles are similar two things always follow i've been repeating two three times now corresponding angles are equal corresponding sides are proportional corresponding angles will be equal and corresponding sides will be proportional if two triangles are already similar and since textbook is saying similar the order also must be correct p x second letter second letter y third r third z should be correct so we can now write on corresponding angle p equal to first letter x equal to now we know p is already given here see here 60 degree so you write here 60 degree let us right here because we know corresponding angles of similar triangles are always equal corresponding angles are always equal corresponding sides are proportional so let us put this one as equation number one then second letter here angle q second letter here angle y now q is already there see 50 so if they are equal both of them will be equal to 50 degree the reason is same reason corresponding angle so equation number two third letter angle r equal to angle z let us say third letter third letter and here already here see r is given 70 so we write here both of them 70 reason is again corresponding angles are equal equation three let us say now the question is asking us to find out <coughs> x plus y so we just write here therefore angle x plus angle y will be x is here 60 degree plus y is here 50 degree we write here since using equations one and two one and two so there will be 110 degree therefore the answer choice that will match this one is found in number three 110 degree right and the fifth question let us write it down fifth a5 here page 145 textbook okay so here if triangle abcd are similar triangles so Let's just draw them A, B, C, and D, E, F are similar. A is 47 degree, E is 83 degree, and C we have to find out. That's what is given. So, given to us here, let us write down. 
triangle ABC already a question mentioned similar to triangle DEF. So since they are similar, the order is correct. Okay, the question mentioned similar means they have written the order correct. We have to assume like that. Then angle A equal to 47 degree. Then angle E equal to 83 degree. And what we have to find is C. Angle C question mark. Let's do this. So here now, we will write here since triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF since it is given to us, therefore corresponding angles will be equal. So we write your first letter A and the first letter A here is, yes that's right angle D, so angle D because we know corresponding and uh, <coughs> corresponding angles of similar triangles are always equal to each other so similarly second letter angle b so this will be you can write it here directly angle a will be equal to angle d will be equal to both of them 47 degree because a is already 47 you can put this one as one the b it will be equal to second letter here e and E is 83 degree already, so both of them will be 83. This is same reason corresponding angles of similar triangles are equal. Then here, third letter, angle C will be equal to angle F will be equal to how much? Okay, so these two are enough, I think. So with this, we can write here, therefore, we have to find C. So take this triangle. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be 180 degree because we know sum of three angles or angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. Then A we have found out, so that implies you'll see 47, right? 47 degree plus B, see here 83 degree plus angle C equal to 180 degree and you can write here since using equations 1 and 2 from this from where you are getting this value at 47 and 83 as the value of A and B there so these two added will give you 120 130 I think plus angle C equal to 180 degree so Angle C, put it on one side, 180 degree, that's fine. Shift this one plus will become minus 130 degree. So this will be 50 degree. Therefore, the answer choice that match this one will be the first one, 50 degree. So we have completed five, four, five or so. Now go and give the test. Now we'll give the test, read the instructions at the top of the question carefully, okay, to avoid confusion. Okay, so that is enough for today. You can go and give the test, okay? Okay.